Hello guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Welcome back to my channel, and today I wanted to go over how you can make gal without even using the market board. I can totally understand wanting an alternative to the market board because, honestly, some people on there just have no clue how to undercut or there's just way too much undercutting or you just can't find something that's sustainable. So this video will go over all the ways you can make a ton of gil sustainably without the market board. But before we start, consider liking the video if you enjoy these types of videos, subscribe for more Final Fantasy content, and ring the bell for any future notifications for the channel. Thank you to everyone who supports me on Twitch, Discord, and YouTube. You all keep the channel going. And with that being said, let's get into it. So the first thing we'll go over, and if you play well, you kind of can be familiar with this type of thing, and it's kind of like vendor flipping. Now what I mean by vendor flipping is crafting an item and selling what's left over or that item to the vendor. Now we're not selling exactly the item to the vendor itself, we're selling what is left from desynthesizing the item. So what exactly are we going to craft? Well, we're going to craft Aetherite Rings. Now, of course, you do need a level 50 goldsmith for this, but this is completely sustainable with your crystals and all you have to do is get rose gold nuggets. Now, since there is only one material needed for this recipe, you will only get a demi materia, whether that would be a clear demi materia or a field craft demi materia, or the nugget back. So when you desynthesize this, you will always get a chance to recraft the ring and try again for a demi materia, or you will get the demi materia itself along with one crystal. You will never go down in crystals with this. You will always get one crystal back per desynthesis, and it only takes one crystal to craft. So I already had 50 of them. I am stuck on the last three. I keep getting the nuggets back. So it just looks like this. You craft the Aetherite ring. You either get a nugget back. And I swear to God, if these two are going to be nuggets. Okay, we got two Demi Materias back. This is a Field Craft Demi Materia 2. And what's the last one going to be? Another nugget. So you just keep going until you get all of them into demi materials and it might take a little bit of a while if you're unlucky like me but i nearly am done i crafted 50 and we'll see at the end what it will look like so again aside from the initial investment of the nuggets you will not lose anything by desynthesizing you will always either get a nugget or demi materia back and these rings are also quick synthesizable so finally, I got from 50 rings, 15 clear Demi Materia 2s, and 70 Fieldcraft Demi Materia 2s. And of course, we can just go vendor and see how much we'll get. And one clear Demi Materia 2 sells for 1,000 gil per each. So we made 15,000 gil. And 70 Demi Materia 2s sell for 220 each. And it netted us 15,400. Now I'm gonna buy these back. I don't want to sell them to my retainer, but I want to take them to the Domen Enclave, and I'll also explain that later in the video. But for 50 rings, I got overall 30,400 gil. The next thing you can start vendoring is the duck bones, black cinnabar, camel hair, all these for 360 gil per sale to a vendor. Now it is 600 seals per one. If you're at a cap of 50,000, you will get 29,880 gil total. This is great if you have always a bunch of grand company seals, you're doing dungeons all the time and you're rolling on the loot, or you could also do the facet ring flipping that I made a video on for a brick ton of seals, this is a great way to make gil without using the market board. So when you're vendoring something, every week you have an option to vendor to the Domen Enclave. And now of course, you have to be in Stormblood, you have to have this unlocked, but once you do and have the donations basket fully unlocked, then you can double 
the vendor price and get the gill that way. So my clear dummies are of course selling 1k per each to a normal vendor, but my rate is at 200%. I put it in and I get twice as much back. Now of course, you do have a weekly budget, you will only get 40k. So of course, sell a smaller amount of Fieldcraft Dummy Materia 2s, get to that 40k and you will get gil without using the market board also that way now of course the final way to make a brick ton of gil and absolutely the best although you do have to have either a max level crafter i highly recommend culinarian or a blacksmith now this is in the crystarium you'll have to have the love me unlocked but once you do you can do these trade craft leaves now you get a hundred allowances max. They recharge within real time. So once you use all hundred, you do have to wait for them to recharge, but it does happen very quickly. And I highly recommend the Keeping Loyalty Dwarven Mithril Files or the very well-known Coffee Biscuits. Now, of course you can turn in the same leave three times for one allowance and you get double the rewards when your items are HQ. The Dwarven Mithril Files make a lot more than the coffee biscuits but you do have to have a full clean inventory because they don't stack. This is probably by far the best way to make gil without the mark board and I highly highly I highly recommend doing them if you aren't doing them already. Now, of course, you can make a lot of gil passively by just doing your roulettes or your challenge log, but they are definitely not something I would go out of my way to do. Just let it come to you passively. It's a good way for sprouts, but doing all the other ways that I listed will get you a lot more profit for a lot less time. So that was all the ways that I know to make a whole lot of gil without using the market board. I hope this could be some help to people who really hate the undercutting in this game. It's kind of like PvP, but just with the gil. And uh, this is, especially the love quest, a great way to make a ton. So guys, thank you for watching. I stream also on Twitch, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 5pm GMT plus 3. So if you want to craft together, I hope to see you there. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!